Today I will be decorating my June pages in my common planner. I have a deluxe June subscription kit in the clear matte version. So um, that's what I will be using in this video. And that's the one I prefer. The clear matte is the one that I prefer. Um, it's also known as the washi material. Uh, it's called clear matte because that was the original material that we used um, and we just never updated it since updating the sticker material okay so i have the deluxe version in the full uh in the clear mat like i said it's the washi paper material so i'll be opening up everything and i've done a quick unboxing of this on instagram it's a short like a it's a reel so you can quickly look through that if you're interested but otherwise i'll just be using um the entire set in this decorate with me um so my planner is b6 size and that's the size i prefer for my day-to-day -day planning this book i'm using for my all-in-one planning uh goals journaling um and like brain dumping for myself so this is my all-in-one planner and journal and i've been really enjoying using this so you can kind of see how i've been filling up everything i've been using my monthly stickers in all of the months up until may obviously and i'll be decorating the June pages with you guys today so it's just been really fun doing this um so let's start from I I think it's always um for me I, I've been doing this for a while so I kind of have my own formula for how I decorate um but still like every month it's just a little bit um like the blank pages kind of scare me a little bit. So I definitely do really like having the stickers in there before I start planning for the month. Um, and I find that having a certain sort of like formula for how I decorate really helps me to just make this an easy process while, while maintaining our artistic freedom. I can kind of work within a a certain framework that I have set for myself and I talked about that in the May video so I'll be doing the same in this video as well I'll just be explaining my process a little bit as I'm doing this so I'm going to first just dump in the June sticker I always like to put this in a blank spot in the monthly section so I like to use the grid to guide how my sticker should look um, that way I can make sure that everything is straight then I like to use the washi sticker right here I love the holographic um, foiling this month I think these two are too similar so I'm going to be using this one so this month my inspiration was just really dark green waterly pond so some sort of water element. I always feel water in June for whatever reason. And it's always either a pond or a lake. That's just where my inspiration is for June. And I've done some camellias. And my other inspiration was the mermaid tails. I don't know if you can tell. I like I want I wanted to keep it really abstract. So I have some mermaid tails in different colors. So white, pink, and this kind of holographic um, blue green. And I chose the holographic foiling for this month to go with that kind of mystical um, vibe of the collection. So this is the sticker that I will be using down here to sort of like complete the page. As usual, I will be coming back to this page to um, throw in some extra stickers through the page. I usually like to use the leftover stickers from the washi washi page so i'll be coming back to that so this is how the april one looked and then may was like this and then june looks like this 
So now I'm going to go into the June pages. So that starts here, obviously. And as usual, I like to keep the transition week kind of uniform and not have it be too stark from month to month. And I do like to keep the collections transition a little bit more softer and gradual so it's not very stark when the two collections are sitting together. Even then I want to keep this page a little bit more uniform so I like to use illustration, illustration stickers such as the stamps or torn paper. So I'll be looking through that. I'll probably be using um, torn paper here and find that which is this one. Normally I use this piece but because for this version, I used a horizontal, made, made it into a horizontal. Maybe that works. So I'll just put this here. Um, I love this illustration so much. Um, I wanted to have this type of like raft boat here, um, kind of on um, rowing into just a bunch of li lily pads like this. So that was my inspiration here. And I absolutely loved how it turned out. So this piece is going to go here. And I'll come back to this. So normally what I do is I like to go through all the pages using the same sticker sheet just to make sure that I have, I'm using only one from each type of sticker so it doesn't get like too repetitive. So I'm going to be doing that throughout the June pages. These ones I plopped down before because I received these stickers about a month ago and I just got really excited because they turn out so pretty. So I started putting some stickers in already. Um, that's why you can see that there are some stickers already on the page. Again, I'm just using the grid to kind of guide how I put down the sticker to make sure that they are going down straight. Some stickers, it doesn't matter, but for the illustration ones, I think it does matter whether it goes in straight or not. And I don't think too much about what I'm putting down here. Um, I find that because I designed the collection to really go together seamlessly, it doesn't really matter what kind of sticker you're putting down. Everything just works really well together. So I don't think too much about it. Um, but if you want, obviously, you can do a lot of really creative things with it. I love, I absolutely love this sticker right here. So June 30th is actually my birthday. Um, and it happens to be on a Sunday. It's just so satisfying to have the first half of the year end on a Sunday. Um, I work on a Monday start schedule. So this was kind of perfect for me. Um, I know that's not true for the Sunday start people but for me I thought that was just like super satisfying and I just love water lilies so it's perfect um, to sort of bookmark my birthday right there then I'll move on to stamps I like to use stamps on these pages too so I'm just gonna run through them and put down the stamps so again I don't want to use the same illustration so I won't be using the lily pad ones but they're absolutely beautiful I think I'll be using this just do that I also kind of want to vary the tone of the stickers so these are sort of like lighter so I want to use something like this piece right here that's darker I'm just going to keep on going. Okay. So I did all the stamps here and then I'll be moving on to the box stickers. So as you can see, I already put down some of the box stickers here. Um, so I'll just be covering the other pages that hasn't had any. I'll be using this corner piece to kind of bookmark the beginning of June right here. The good thing about these stickers is that they're really thin, um, but you do have to be a little bit more careful 
when you're ripping them out. Um, I just want to kind of carefully look at where the cut line is, or you can also just take out um, the background, what we'll call it, um, and that way you can kind of see exactly where the cuts are, so you don't have to guess. Um, the cuts are just like really thin, so sometimes it could be difficult to tell where exactly the cut line is. I'm gonna leave this for later. I think I'm going to use some stickers from the AG or, or arrangement throughout the pages. Just this one here. I just love how the mermaid tails um, blend into the paper. As usual, I will be saving the large illustration for the daily pages. Piece right here. And then obviously, you know, it depends on how much you write on the paper. You might want to put less stickers or put more stickers. It's just really up to you. Um, this amount of stickers for me is perfect because um, I feel like I do at the end of the day, I do like it when there are a few more stickers on the page like this one. It just really um, kind of makes the page interesting and not so daunting to write in. Um, I definitely have a problem writing on blank pages, so it's absolutely necessary for me to have everything already done um, and decorated before I start. I'm going to use this sticker right here. So now I think some pages are good to go like this one and this one, but I think um, this page is a little bit empty here. So I want to add a few more things. So this is when I'll take out this illustration one. So I think I'm actually going to use this piece. I love the contrast of the holographic foil um, and the dark sticker like the dark murky water. I had to switch over to voiceover because the kids came back and it was getting up really noisy. So here I am just adding a few more stickers to the weekly and monthly section before moving to the daily section. For the daily or notes section, I like to start by inserting our June calendar vellum. These come in B6 size in our full and deluxe subscription kits. We also offer them as a digital freebies in nine different sizes to be used with our common planners and notebooks. You can sign up for our newsletter through our website to receive these. On the left hand side, I like to use the monthly die cut stickers to decorate. It's good for doing one line a day or daily gratitude. I have been really enjoying using vellum to decorate my daily pages. I love that they have larger graphics and can really set the tone for the page. There are so many things you can do with the vellums. Basically, you can treat them as fancy graphic paper and use them for collage. I will be cutting these up into smaller pieces and taping them onto the daily pages. Some of them will be fully taped on using double-sided tape, and some of them will be used as flip-out or peekaboo type of pieces. After I'm done with the vellum pieces, I'm adding more stickers from the June collection here to fill up the pages a bit more. Like I mentioned before, I cannot write on blank pages and I also love flipping back through these pages because these stickers and collages serve as road markers for my memory.
done with all of the daily spreads and the weekly and the monthly. Um, I'm so excited to jump into these pages and start filling them out. If you like this decorate with me video, please like and subscribe and please also leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite collection was and if you have any requests for future collections. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.